Hi guys, I'm Deb. People often want to know how long cookies will last. And scientifically, I can tell you six seconds. I often nosh on cookies after making them. That's why you might have heard the term baker's dozen for six cookies. I have a tried and true chocolate chip cookie recipe. People love these cookies. I give them the recipe. It's just from the New York Times, but I guess they always leave out that one essential ingredient, love. Today, we are going to make new chocolate chip cookies. New for me, new for the world, not new for Claire. Now, Claire is from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen. She had a show called Gourmet Makes and she would take ordinary junk food like a Snickers or a Twinkie and make it gourmet. As we know, Bon Appetit has basically been canceled and Claire has left the test kitchen and she came out with her very first cookbook and it is called Dessert Person. And since I am a dessert person, obviously I had to get it. Claire is one of my favorite people in the world. She has no idea she's one of my favorite people. She has no idea I even exist, but that didn't stop me from making her chocolate chip cookies. These cookies are irresistible and so easy to make. These are like just a little bit crunchy on the outside, soft and gooey and chocolatey on the inside. It is the perfect cookie. I just can't even convey this enough to you. You must try this cookie. No, not this cookie, because I'm gonna eat it right now. Me. Mmm. breakfast of champions, but they are a lesson in patience. Not only do you have to rest the dough for 12 hours, they take 18 minutes to cook. 18? I mean, who has time for this? I'm basically not leaving the house for days at a time, but still, who has time for this? Like I said, it's a super easy recipe. You don't take the ingredients out to let them come to room temperature. You use them right from the fridge and you don't even need a mixer. You could mix this all by hand. Come, let's go make it. I melted one stick of butter until it browned. This took me eight minutes of stirring and watching. Once browned, I added this to another stick of butter and two tablespoons of heavy cream. I let this cool slightly and then added 150 grams each of brown and white sugars. After mixing, I added two large eggs straight from the fridge and one tablespoon of vanilla. I folded in my dry ingredients which are two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. I mixed in five ounces of each dark and milk chocolates. Then I scooped two ounce portions onto a cookie sheet and put it in the fridge for at least two hours. After two hours, I put these in a Ziploc and froze them for later. I think they'll keep for two months, but they only last a week in my freezer. Did you see how fast that came together? Ugh. Now we wait. Who has this time? Clay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not only melting the butter, but browning the butter, I think is the secret to this deep, dark, rich taste. I mean, it... They're ready. The 
dark brown sugar adds so much to this. I used to only use light brown sugar, but really, I am a convert. Wait, does that mean I have to go be a nun? Let's take a bite. I mean, look at this. Thank you, Claire, I love you. Also, it's New York Times Cookie Week this week, so this is a perfect week to try these. You could go onto the New York Times and get my old cookie recipe and make those too. They're pretty good also, but these, this is the perfect cookie. It's gonna make you think you can open your own bakery. Mm. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay home. I'd say stay healthy, but I'm about to go eat 12 cookies right now, so I don't feel right telling you to stay healthy. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I just hit 100 subscribers, and in a previous video, I said when I got to 100 subscribers, I would take your questions. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to type them below, and I will answer them in my next video. I just hit 100 customers. Customers? I don't think that's what they're called.